Dr. James Till, an expert in biophysics, and Dr. Ernest McCullough, a specialist in hematology, proved to be a powerful team. They refined the definition of stem cells and established an entirely new field of medicine to treat such serious conditions as blindness, paralysis, and cancer. The head of the physics group uh, asked for a volunteer to work with Dr. McCullough, and I volunteered. We found we enjoyed working with each other, and uh, we became genuine colleagues who participated equally in the designing of experiments. Well, of course, we didn't know at the time we were creating a, a new field. I think that, you know, Till McCullough, their work beginning in the 1960s, uh, you know, really uh, set stem cell research on a different stage. They really gave birth to the modern era of stem cell research. We complemented each other. Our backgrounds were so different that we brought uh, fresh perspectives uh, that would not be available to either of us alone. Jim was, he was a physicist, right? He was uh, trained in sort of hardcore quantitative details of uh, how things, you know, worked at the, the subatomic level. You know, McCullough was the physician and he was also the biologist. You know, biologists tend to have a little more flexible type of view on a problem. And so by bringing the two of them together, I think was the magical sauce, so to speak, that allowed this sort of creativity to happen. This is a broader Canadian community acknowledging his contributions and his work and I think that that would have touched him because he wanted to do science but he wanted to do it for people.